Hi, I'm Neil Ward Dutton. I work for IDC in Europe, leading our AI and automation practices. In these weekly videos, I'll talk about recent research we've done in our practices, conversations we've had, and ideas that we're exploring. Today, I want to share a view on a topic I've been spending a lot of time on this week, process mining. Traditionally, process mining was the use of tools to analyze the logs of enterprise software systems and to reverse engineer uh, models of real-world business processes by understanding how activity is flowing through those systems. Now, that might sound pretty niche, and historically it really has been. It was really only uh, interesting for, for like most of its 10 years of heritage to a pretty niche part of the process improvement community. Um, and it's only really over the last three years or so that the technology and the practice has, has, has broken out. Why is that? Well, I think, there's, I think there's five reasons. First, the rise of RPA, Robotic Process Automation, which has reignited interest in the value of process improvement and automation generally. And it's created a whole bunch of technology vendors that are eager to look for ways to help their clients discover new automation opportunities and use cases. But there's more. Um, there's a growing focus amongst the vendors on ease of use of the tools and ease of implementation. And that's making the practice much more immediate and accessible. There's now availability of uh, subscription as a service models, which of course make it possible for organizations to get started quickly and relatively easily. There's a flow of venture capital money uh, into the market, much of which has been spent on marketing and promotion, of course, that raises awareness. And also we're seeing vendors expanding their scope uh, to cover more kinds of exploration and analysis and also to reach into the ability to, to not only analyze processes, but also to start to effect some change in them um, th through the ability to recommend or even automate certain actions that can, can resolve operational problems. And when you take all these, th these five things together, it really does create a market that is much more uh, interesting to a mainstream audience. Over the next couple of years, we're expecting so this will continue to be a fast growth area and a highly dynamic market that becomes interwoven with all kinds of adjacent kind of intelligent process automation uh, spaces. And this is partly because digitization of operations is increasingly understood as a critical pillar of true digital transformation. It's that part where organizations have to connect new digital initiatives to existing core operations. And, and you do have to get to that point at some point uh, process mining is also going to grow, I think, partly because of the COVID-19 situation. Classically, improvement teams used to explore business processes by conducting uh, in-person process discovery and design workshops, you know, involving you know, large, great big rolls of brown paper stuck up on office walls. But clearly in the current environment, that kind of thing just isn't possible. And process mining really has the potential to help organisations digitise the process of process improvement and that's really quite an, an important uh, uh, that's quite an important role that it's able to play this is one of those fairly unusual areas where most of the innovation has occurred in Europe and it continues to happen here uh, which makes me particularly happy uh, you should expect to see us focus on this topic and market quite a lot over the coming months and also into next year um, I hope that you found that interesting thanks very much for watching I'd love to get your feedback. Uh, I'll be back next week and I look forward to sharing more with you then. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like, please share, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.